when Darwitz Wendell Pohl played together Minnesota hockey went next level. Natalie Darwitz was a couple of years behind Chrissy Wendell and the pair met only once in a high school game. Wendell and Park Center came to the Egan Civic Center to take on Darwitz and the Egan Wildcats in mid-November 1999. Hello please click join button to help me get equipments and make more quality videos for you, or you know just to get me a juice. Thanks already. It was a Monday night a non-conference game and the fire marshal eventually stopped any more people from getting in the arena Darwitz said. It was jammed people standing everywhere and we ended up winning 10-4 in an up and down fast paced game. That was a turning point for the view of girls playing hockey in Minnesota. 25 years later increased octane in the women's game has become an annual thing and on Monday it was announced that Darwitz and Wendell Pohl, married to exceptional gopher Johnny Pohl, had been elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame. The one in Toronto. The one that counts more than any other. Laura Halderson the Gophers coach when they won back-to-back -back national titles in 2003-04 and 2004-05 said. I was thrilled to hear that they would be inducted and also that they will be going in together this November. They came on the scene for us in 2002-03 the same season Ritter Arena opened. We had very good players and then Chrissy and Natalie arrived and what they brought was an absolutely high and amazing skill level every night. Young girls in Ritter those nights, they dreamed of becoming outstanding hockey players. Darwitz was on a varsity girls team for Egan as a 7th grader in 1996-97. Wendell played bantams with the boys until her junior year at Park Center in 1998-99. We all first heard about Chrissy as an athlete as the 12-year-old catcher for the Brooklyn Center team that reached the Little League World Series in 1994. Being the first girl at that position in the LLWS became a national story. Personally the first views of Wendell as a hockey player were in a couple of bantam games she played against a team with a couple of my nephews. One of the players was TJ. McElroy a strapping lad who would play defense at St. Cloud State in the minors and also in Europe. Watching one night at the New Hope Arena Wendell maybe 14 appeared to be the most dynamic on the ice. TJ was asked about Wendell as an opponent this week and responded. Chrissy is an athlete and a competitor. She was almost unstoppable as a bantam playing against the boys. The thought of her coming at me with the puck still causes a sense of fear all these years later. Chrissy hit me so hard one night she knocked the snot out of me, literally. Wendell scored 109 and then 110 goals in her two high school seasons with Park Center's girls team. Darwitz scored 316 goals in her long high school career. They first came to the Team USA training camp in Lake Placid, NY in 1999 Darwitz the youngest there at 15. Cami Granato a Hockey Hall of Famer since 2010 had played on every Team USA in tournaments around the world since 1990. She was captain of the gold medal winning Yanks in the first Olympic tournament in 1998. I remember Chrissy and Natalie coming into Lake Placid, they were so young Granato said Thursday. It didn't take long to put us together on a line. The skill level they had and that young exuberance, it was so much fun being with them. The line was Granato on the left Wendell at center Darwitz on the right. They each dominated in their own way Granato said. Chrissy would take pucks into traffic get through people and use great hands to score. Natalie, with her speed she flew down the wing and her ability to shoot the puck in motion was unique. I never thought of it that way but looking back playing on that line was my favorite time in hockey. Asked about Granato's influence Darwitz said, she was definitely the adult among us as we got ready for the 2002 Olympics. Wendell had spent two years after high school training for the Olympics so she and Darwitz were both freshmen when joining the Gophers for the 2002-03 season. I had this idea we should have balance on the line so I didn't have them together the first season and not until later in the second season Halderson said. That's what the fans always wanted. And putting them together with Kelly Stevens that was as good as it gets. All summer what I heard was you're going to have Chrissy and Natalie together next season aren't you? Even my mother Beryl would call and say you have to have them on the same line this season. 
Yes Mom was the answer for the 2004-05 season national champs at June 2, 36. Chrissy and Natalie had different strengths and skills Halderson said. But together, they were magical.